Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Farmer Evil Extreme here. Here we are on the 22nd of April 2024 for our one and only new mod of looking at today. So this is the Jacto Uniport a 4 e MPK. This is by Jacto E Connect Modding. 54.2 megabytes to download and this is the only mod today because as far as I'm aware, this was scheduled for releasing today. So there's going to be new other mods today. And of course, if anything does drop later, if Giants do want to surprise us, then I'll do a, another video. But, anyways, so yeah, the Jack to Uniport. This is a 50 meter working width fertilizer spreader. This could do soft fertilizer or lime. 300 horsepower, 489 grand to buy. Working width for you up to 50 meters. And as you can see, we've got optional color tint, so. You'll find this under vehicles and crop protection. Go to the end, start at 489 grand. Yeah, 50 meters working width. Top speed of 34 miles an hour and a working speed of 15. And when you compare that to some of what we've got base game and including the premium expansion, it actually holds a bit more and it's a solid fertilizer rather than anything like liquid in that. That's when you don't really see many, too many self-propelled solid fertilizer and lime sprayer so I do appreciate something like this so but yeah let's look at the configuration so wheel setups these are just different tire sizes so 34080 R46 390s R46 so that drops it down makes it a bit more slender 420s if you're a bit more of a chonkier boy and back to 340 the film on the glass 0%, 25, 50, 75, and 0%. License plate is optional, so yeah, I'm gonna hop into here. We've got the one with the solid fertilizer, so let's head to our field. Yeah, overall, good little bit of driving. Love the level of detailing with the electronic panels and that, with the digital displays. So yeah, we get our help menu up. So yeah, obviously I've got precision farming on, but all you need to know is L1, left on the D-pad, opens and closes cover. Then R1, so go to cat for this, R1, right stick up and down. That raises and lowers your sunshade. L1, R1, right stick left to right. That opens and closes your door. I you can see also a little light comes on as well. But yeah, anyways, head to the field, and as you can see, this is a, a very adjustable working whip. So, got 50 meters, 48, and it all goes down in 2 meter increments, all the way down to 4 meters working whip. So, I can put it back on to 50 for this. So, we're in the field, and we are spraying. See about, see just the texture differences. So yeah, 50 meter working width. That is something, yeah, like again, I don't think we got anything else that does 50 meters, so. It's definitely something I'm gonna be potentially using that at some point, but. It means that is the solid fertilizer. Now let's look at the lime spreader. So there we go. Ah yeah, now I can put the line down. Have a bit more of a visual representation of the work width because yeah, I've noticed when it comes to editing these videos sometimes, especially let's plays and that, these sort of texture differences it's hard to see sometimes. But yeah, now you can see the line. Of course you can hire AI worker, which I have done now. Manages it fine. And let's see how it navigates once we get to the end of the field. So there we go, at the end of the field, again, I'm not touching anything and, yeah, it says workers completed tasks, so, even though, okay, mates, this is a modern map, I have modified how I set this up, but, things like the undulation in the terrain, I've seen worse than that, I've had workers mansion worse, so, maybe this is something that is really recommend to use as a single player and not with an AI worker. 
But I'll give it one more chance once we get to this section down here. I'll remove that fillable silo and see how it navigates that. So right, we're at the end and yeah, this is perfectly flat. And yeah, once again it's saying workers complete their task. Again, this could be something down to precision farming in that, but now, as you can see, we do have that fill requirement or that field requirement of it does need lime, so maybe we're having mulch to fill in that and plowed it? I don't know. It's alright, yeah, just a full yeah, this is interesting to me. I still got precision farming enabled. But as you can see, on the top left, lime is still required. I'm also testing this with the fertilizer spreader as well. See, so yeah, that's going to do some sections where we haven't fertilized. But yeah, I want to see, again, is this still an issue or what? Because, to be honest, I do not know. Fertilizer spreader has gone to the end. Okay, I um, it is a bit slow turning around. But at least that is turn around. But what about the lime? Is it going to turn around then? Okay, right, it's now it's starting to work. So, again, I'm not sure why that is. Again, is it because of the whole field requirements? Let's move out of the way and have a look. Okay, fine, the worker's doing it now, but yeah, so anyways, it works fine, yeah, no issues now, it was just a minor little thing. But yeah, from that, the consumption rate is decent, it's realistic and that, I think, to be fair. And yeah, apart from that, that is it for our only mod today, so this has been the Jacto Union Port 83 MPK by Jacto E Connect Modding. And yeah, that is it. End of the mod view. And as always, hope you enjoyed it. And find it helpful and informative in some way, shape, or form. If so, smash that button. Feel free to down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to yet, then please consider. But for as you to do, hope you're going to stay. But for now, it's been fun for everyone's stream. And I'll see you all very soon.